I know for a fact I'm gonna regret this, but I just wanna to go to bed. It is 11.30 and I need to wake up really early tomorrow for a flight, but I don't feel like packing tonight at all. Today I had to move my studio and I moved my computer in here and I just am so exhausted. So I'm gonna pack for Canada tomorrow. I, this is not a good idea. I can already feel it. Don't get me wrong, I have some stuff laid out and then I also have a suitcase and my crafty stuff in my creative options tote, but I just need to go to bed right now. My brain hurts. It is 6.45, I am in the Uber on the way to LAX. Today we're going to Toronto. So I thought my flight was at 8.30, it's actually at 8.15 and it's two terminals away, so I'm walking. But the girl at American was so nice in the boardroom lounge terminal six and I just want to share a little tip if you're traveling and going through security take off your shoes first put it into the bin then put your other stuff on uh, on the belt that way when you actually get to the other side you can go ahead and put your shoes on so you don't have to be shoeless for too long all right getting some work done because I was sweating so much, but all good. Welcome to Canada. Can you keep a secret? She brought one to the airport because I don't have a winter coat like this, so <laughs> thank you for that. And it's Very really welcome. long. So we're at this upscale cafeteria style place that they just make this fresh food in front of you and there's all these stations so I'm so excited. got to the hotel room, did some unpacking, and then I noticed that they brought me a little snack package. So I decided to open it, but the only way I could figure out how to open it and get into it, because there's a ribbon tied really tightly, was poking it with a fork, and I got it. Good morning, it's Friday, and I am waiting downstairs for Catherine. It's about 10.45. We're gonna head into Toronto. We've got a lunch meeting at a very cool restaurant with kin community people and then we're going to head over to the Maryland Dennis show to set up we're setting up the Maryland Dennis show look at this wall She knows, we always tease you. I'm wild and free. I'm old, wild and free. She's young, wild and free. Oh, 
my stomach's gonna hurt tonight. Not because of the food, because of laughing with this girl. <laughs> so dinner was awesome and hilarious. And now we are going to help set up a little bit. I look so tired. <laughs> Took a shower, it's after midnight, I'm having a little midnight snack, it's a plum, and then I'm going to bed, excited for tomorrow. Right, I'm in my first class, and I guess they're having a little fun, I don't know. <laughs> Look at this. You guys, this makes it so that you can staple anywhere on the paper. Wow, right? Do you see this thing? It is ginormous. But I'm so excited to use it. Got my little bag, my ink. Here we go. It fits on an ink pad though. Do I look ridiculous? Yeah. Yeah. Ah! Cool! That's awesome. Yay! I get to sign it. I have a book, guys. I don't know if anybody knows this, but I have a book. It was sold out very quickly. Yeah, this is my book. I haven't looked at it in a long time. There's me cuddling a koala. So fun. First day! Everybody's smiling. Smiling. It's good. <laughs> good. Now time for grub. Let's eat. Right? Fuel. Fireworks. <laughs> Jennifer McGuire, this one's for you. Can you feel it? See? You're perfect. She's made for you too. Hey, that's me. I know. That's me. That's me. Yay. Now what do I do? She's world, it's extremely easy. So, Fine tip, you're gonna go very lightly, and I basically just do little strokes. Good coverage, and then you can go over on where you wanna highlight it. Get my boobies. Get your boobies. They're nice and fluffy. <laughs> I just can't help it. All my girls are like that. I finished it, look! So Vicky got me dessert, but she forgot the fork. <laughs> Get it! Get it! Mm, tastes better without a fork, doesn't it? It does, right? There's what something a little bit... Oh, that's caramel! Look! Everything that you one. ordered! Look! This is the perfect See? dessert. It's make and take time! Fireworks! <laughs> 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 Amy, yeah. what color would you like me to use? It's up to them. That looks amazing.
to sleep in my arms. Hello. So she set up a printer and a station where she prints the photos on the spot right here. How amazing is that? Where? Isn't that awesome? Right there. <laughs> yeah, she prints the photos right there. Right there. This is a surprise for Marilyn Dennis, by the way. That's awesome. We are here for Korean barbecue. This is about to go down. It's been a long day and I'm so excited. It's almost 11 o'clock and I just had my great family friends who we consider family just stop by and it was awesome. So now I'm going to take a bath maybe. We'll see. And then I'm going to get into bed because it's going to be early tomorrow when we have to meet for breakfast and then head to the show. But dang, my hair looks good. I hope it looks as good for the TV show tomorrow. <laughs> we just got to the show. I'm scared. Scott McGill Brief from Income Property is here. <laughs> and she's all excited. I'm like, oh, he's not that bad looking. Oh my gosh, just wrapped the Marilyn Dennis show. I did, she loved it. And Marilyn, thank you so much for having me. Oh, you're so welcome. Amy's husband is from Pittsburgh, so now we are besties. JC, North Allegheny High School. Okay, see you later. Thank you thank so you. much. We're gonna go have some lunch at Pickle Barrel. down. You look at dots and ma and mama leg. Look at the dots and mama's leg. Then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Good job, buddy! Can I have a huggy? Oh, I love you so much. I'm so happy to be home. Do you want the present in this bag? <laughs> and this bag too? <laughs> you ready to see your present? was a really fun trip thank you so much for coming along I wanted to show you this flip through of this traveler's notebook that I made uh, along with some things that I got this is the mink watercolor thing that we made and this roots pamphlet I love this tag that we created on the night of the make and take I stuck it on the cover these front two pages I was able to accomplish on the plane ride there and as you can see, there's some blank spots right here that are good probably for some stamping or to add some stickers later if I want. 
And here are some notes on podcasts. I love taking kernels of wisdom and documenting them. So here is where things get a little bit crazy. So I didn't actually finish these pages, obviously, and I also did not keep them in chronological order, which is actually a good thing because as you can see here, there was bleed through from the marker. So I'm just going to stick those two pages together because I have plenty of other pages in this book and I know that I won't fill them up. So I'm taking this American Craft Sticky Thumb Adhesive, running it along the border and one or two strips in the middle and then just pressing down so that they stick together, which is great because then you can't see the bleed through at all. Now you can see some notes that I made and I did some stamping and put some business cards in. I did finish up on the menu because that was very important to me. I've got some notes from other people. I met the sweetest people there. It was just so amazing. And somebody recommended this hair device that I'm excited to look up. I just basically have all this room and all this stuff, but what I want to do is make sure I have a safe spot for all the memorabilia and keepsakes that I gather. I have been so frustrated in the past that I put so much pressure on myself to actually complete a lot of the book while I'm there, but I just haven't been doing that lately. I haven't been making documenting or journaling a priority. I used to try to do 10 minutes a day when I was on a trip, but it just hasn't happened. So I'm giving myself a lot of grace and I'm just trying to get what I can done as soon as I get back. So I'm just tearing this uh, apart a little bit and just giving it kind of this rough edge instead of using scissors. I like the look of it. So I'm just going to paste it in here so that I have it and it's not loose. I find that I've had piles of memorabilia from different trips and it's important for me, oh look, this has folded up, this washi tape on the front, which looks kind of cool, but I think it should be straight. So basically I want to give you all permission if you have unfinished albums or unfinished traveler's notebooks or mini albums or what have you, just to do what you can and not worry about it too much. There are way too many pages in this book and I will not fill them up with journaling or photos, but when I do get to printing out the photos, I'm excited to have them just slide into the book and not worry about it being in chronological order. Because at the end of the day, when you're looking at your books years down the road, it's not really going to matter if it happened on a Monday or Tuesday, I don't think. But if that's important to you and you're able to do it that way, congratulations, that's amazing. I just know for me, this system of just having it all in one place is better than having piles elsewhere. My memory keeping approach is very laid back and accessible and I want to encourage you to feel the same way. So thank you so much for watching. If you want to see the entire Marilyn Dennis Show clip, I have linked it below in the description box along with some other things and information. She was just the nicest host and she made me feel at ease even though I was very nervous. She was absolutely a delight to be with and I hope that I get to go on her show again sometime. So I wanted to show you I filled in a little bit of information on the food here, and then now I'm just gonna flip through the book as it stands. Thank you so much for watching and coming along for this trip. I really appreciate you giving this video a thumbs up and subscribing if you haven't already. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Thanks.